The United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction 2019 Global Assessment Report has warned of new, emerging and much larger threats than ever experienced in the history of mankind, largely because of climate change. The over 400-page report, which is the first assessment and evaluation of how nations are fared in implementing the Sandai Framework of 2015, identifies a growing trend of environmental degradation and growing potential of one disaster producing another as a signal of how dire things could get if the world continues to engage in unsustainable patterns of growth. Join us Latif Idrisu, who participated in the 2019 Global Platform in Geneva, Switzerland, as a UN Disaster Risk Reduction Journalist report, nations, including Ghana, have made commitment to mitigate risks by building resilient community environments. Now, as the world faces increasing risks from floods, earthquakes, and other natural disasters that have killed thousands and left many other homeless, the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction has assembled government experts and scientists, plus other stakeholders here in Geneva, Switzerland, to fashion out risk-informed sustainable development policies to mitigate current and future disasters. The United Nations Global Platform is the world's foremost gathering on reducing disaster risk and building resilient communities and nations. In 2015, the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction assembled governments in Japan and adopted the non-binding Sandai framework, which among others, has the target of substantially reducing global disaster mortality by 2030 and also reduce direct disaster economic loss in relation to global gross domestic product by 2030. It's a big job, it's not easy. Um, and another thing I must say is that there are so many reporting requirements now for the countries. They have to report against the Sendai framework, they have to report against the Paris Agreement, the SDGs. And what we are trying to do is we, are, we need to find a way that can alleviate a bit the burden of reporting for the benefit of the member states, especially the developing countries. So that's something that is under discussion um, a lot. The Sandai framework also urges nations to shift from managing disasters to reducing risks. So I asked NADMO and the delegation from Ghana how the nation is incorporating this Sandai framework in managing disasters in the country. And back home in Ghana would think and still believe that the existence of NADMO is just for uh, providing sardines and tin tomato and mattresses in, in, in cases of flooding. But then uh, coming to conferences of this nature, one we want to understand to a large extent the role of NADMO, which is very critical in the country. Now more than ever, Ghana requires a disaster risk reduction policy, perhaps urgently, considering the scary fact that the country's defective fault lines has resulted in three air tremors in 2019 alone.